In this presentation, we'll look at the invoice receipt process. So, what is an invoice receipt? It means that we are receiving the invoice from the vendor. Now, most of the time, we might get the goods and the invoice at the same time. There are sometimes you might get the goods today and get the invoice another date. Sometimes you might get the invoice first and then the goods later. So, there are different kind of scenarios which can happen. But nevertheless, when you receive the invoice from the vendor, you have to perform the invoice receipt process. Now, this has a financial implication because what you'll be doing is you'll be debiting the GRIR clearing account and crediting the vendor, which means a vendor will have an outstanding line item, which eventually means that you will have to pay the vendor. Now we have created the purchase order, we have done the perform the goods receipt and now we are performing the invoice receipt. Sometimes you might perform the purchase order and then you might do an invoice receipt and then a goods receipt. But most of the time the standard process is you create the purchase order, perform the goods receipt using the MyGo transaction and then you perform the invoice receipt that is used using the MIRO or MIRO transaction. Now, during the invoice receipt process, there is no impact to the controlling module, that is the CO module transactions, because it's primarily dealing with the balance sheet accounts. Because the GRIR clearing account is a balance sheet account, the vendor account is also a balance sheet account. And remember the controlling module to see any reports in your cost centers or internal orders or all those CO related objects, it all primarily deals with cost elements, which is your PL accounts. So, hence, there will not be any impact on your controlling module transactions when you perform the invoice receipt. Now let's have a look at our SAP menu path. You can see over here the main access is screen SAP menu path and under logistics expand materials management and here you can see all the processes. Now we saw how to create a purchase order through purchasing. The transaction code for that was ME21N. I straight away type in and showed you but if you want to use the menu path you just write under here purchasing purchase order create and here you can do it as ME21N. There are many different scenarios of course but this is not the main uh, purpose of our CO module focus. We just want to create a purchase order so I just use straight away the transaction ME21N. Now similarly to perform the invoice verification we come to the logistics invoice verification that's where we perform the goods receipt come to document entry and we are going to use the transaction code MIRO that is MIRO. Or we can remember when we did for MyGo, that is the goods uh, receipt transaction, it comes under the inventory management section. Goods movement, MyGo. So now we are of the most of the MM execution transactions. So again, come back to the original purpose of this presentation. We are going to do the MyRo transaction for the invoice verification. I'm just going to execute that. It's requesting me for my company code. So this is based on the company code. I'm just going to type in my company code over here. And it's a bit similar to the FB60 transaction when you raise a FI invoice to the vendor. The similar type of screen setup is coming with the similar type of tabs. But of course, the main difference is that you're going to enter it by the purchase order. It will reference the purchase order and pick up the vendor details. Now, you will not see a vendor master or vendor ID to enter over here, which you see in your FB60 transactions when you try to perform an FI invoice. So, I'm going to put in a date over here. And I'm not going to specify any amount now, just going to leave that blank, just going to type in some reference over here. And I'm going to go and select my purchase order. So now I, let me see, imagine that I don't know my purchase order number, so I'm going to search. It's asking to enter vendor. Okay, so let me go and enter vendor also by my company code. Let me use the raw materials vendor, this is what I used. Search for the purchase order. Okay, this is a purchase order I need. And now it's coming up over here. And you can also again do it by item number, but I'm just going to do it for all the items. Now just press enter on your keyboard. And you can see the details are going to come up over here in the screen. And it's asking for a tax code because one of the settings I mentioned okay, tax code might be required. So I'm just going to put P0 GST exempt just to make it simple. And you can see, you can see has not been set not the GL account 103010 has been set as not relevant for tax. So it's requiring a tax code. However, the GL account has not been set as relevant for tax. So we must make that setting. So I'm just going to take you through that GL account setting. FS00 
Go to my GL account 10310 my inventory.